they came up with all these like medical forms and they're telling me to sign all these things and they're saying, okay, but you could possibly die, 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 die. Hi hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're going to be doing our 2016 year in review. Yes. So good things happened and a lot of shit things happened. <laughs> 2000 and shitty 16. <laughs> 2016. Yeah. But we actually are going to talk about many topics for both yes. of us today. We've got some written down on Katie's laptop mm. and so mostly crappy things did happen to me. I met one of those people that's jumping on the bandwagon and that 2016 was terrible. I mean, <laughs> overall for me, I have to say it wasn't a terrible year. Like, yeah. I would say 50 50 for me. Yeah. But overall, like, against other years that we've had, yeah. this has been the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because we've had some of the, like, as I'll reveal to you in the video, we've had some of the best things happen this year, but they've been downed by so many negatives. So. Yeah. Well, I want to start out with a positive thing, I think. That's a good idea. And um, this is for both of us, and that's just creating this channel. So, the birth of this channel happened in 2016. We've been talking, like, we've been talking about it for years, like, not years, your mum brought it up to our attention. She did, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, mum was like, oh my god, you and Katie are so funny, you should be, like, the new French and Saunders, which, oh my god, that's really uh, That is a, such a good compliment. <laughs> I mean, not that we're comparing ourselves to them, we were told this. It was, <laughs> it was nice to hear. It so was nice. Mom, to yeah. Watching. She, she always did. does. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think just the birth of this channel. Yeah, but yeah. this channel was awesome. Yeah. And like it's going really well, I think. I think so. 2017, 2017 is going to have a great lot of it. It's our year. 2017 will be the year for our channel. My main big, uh, well, one of two. My One of my big ones was buying my house this year. Yes. So excited to your dog will be renting! <laughs> Hello! Uh, but yeah, no, that was huge for us because it meant that we could finally stop wasting money and put it into an investment which yeah. was really good. Not paying someone else's mortgage. <laughs> I don't know how that is illegal for me. <laughs> paying someone else's yeah. mortgage. <laughs> Speaking of renting, that leads us on to a negative. Mm. Um, yes, so my negative things were really shitty real estate agents. So I've had a lot, this is going to be a whole separate video because we both had really crappy real estate experiences. I'm sure so many people out there are like, oh yeah. my god, yes, amen. Yes. So just really stupid things. And I could list off a million and one reasons as to why they were shit. But it would be a really long video, hence we're doing a separate why? one. Doing a separate yeah. video. So basically I've moved twice this past year, um, in the space of nine months I'm moving again. So, and it's all because of really crappy real estate and crappy owners that don't want to fix vital things. And I'll give you one example is my stove blew up in my face when I was cooking one day. Oh my gosh, really? Is that here? Yes. <gasps> really? So, you know the little burners, they're like um, ceramic burners and they've got the little silver ring around them? Mm. The ring exploded <gasps> and flew off into I my face. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, and, and this, and like, I haven't told you everything because yeah, there's, there's so, so many much. Things. Like, I know a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and that was not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I think at, at that point I was just like, you know what? And the Done. plumbing, the plumbing broke the same day. Oh that happened. my gosh. So, it, yeah, blew up in my face and it took them five months to fix it. So I had a three burner stove rather than four, which sounds ungrateful. Like, like, I'm grateful to have a stove, but <laughs> I'm grateful. But you're paying rent, like, you, exactly. You, they're not lowering your rent, no, for when you're less of yeah. it. <laughs> and a stove is a, a necessary item. So, and I didn't want to cook on the other three because I was worried that, that it would happen. So, I didn't barely cook this year, and I love cooking. Okay. Yeah, so that's one of my shitty ones. But we'll get into that later on. Yeah, yeah, we'll do another video. Actually, give us a thumbs up if you want to see that. Yes, subscribe because you'll see more good stuff. Mm. Pranks and stories. Fucking <laughs> blaming real estate. <laughs> what more could you want to right. watch? <laughs> yeah, get it. Speaking of houses, I'll still continue on with that whole yeah. blur thing um, and say that I had to move two times this year. So, like, when Elliot and I, Elliot being my husband, um, we rented for, I think it's four years almost, and we probably moved in the space of that time five times for the same reason which we'll go into more detail about but two of the times was this year because we thought to ourselves no we won't be able to get a house this year so we'll move into a house where we can have a dog 
um, and then we got our dog and then ended up being able to buy so then we had to move again <laughs> um, so yeah it's just been a huge year and like for those of you who live in Australia and I know a lot of our viewers out there do um, you guys already know how hot it is in Australia and our lease always came from Christmas yeah the dead yeah of you, you're gonna have to move in summer as well yeah and but I have movers I'm yeah, done. yeah. I've done movies. See, Ellen and I are really cheap skates and we try <laughs> to do it ourselves, which we have successfully, by the way, five times, except one time with the help of you guys. Yeah. Um, but that yeah, was it was hot. It was really hot. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, another blur moment for me is having to move twice, but then the positive with the last move was that knowing it was going to be the last for a very long yeah. time. Yeah, this year has been the, well, 2016 has been the year for thickness. Um, I changed jobs late 2015. And this place, it, it houses like the bubonic plague, I swear to God. <laughs> so everybody gets sick and I keep getting talkings too because I've had so many days off but I just can't go to work that sick. Mm. Um, so like stomach bugs, flus, yeah, um, gastro, gastro, yeah. It's just everything that you can think of has happened to me. And even one of my friends that works with me got shingles. Shingles, and she's only, well, she's 29 at the time. So she got shingles and was away for ages. So this place is just full of germs. <laughs> um, and yeah, this year's been definitely the year that I'm, like, I ran out of sick leave. Yeah. Before it re, I don't know, re started, refreshed itself every year. It does. Um, and yeah, I, I like used probably, my boss told me the other day I used. Over 50% of my sick leave within the first three months of it renewing. <laughs> Which is probably the equivalent to one normal person's sick time for a whole year. Mm. So that gives you an idea of how sick it goes on. But yeah, no, this year for me, leading on from your sicknesses, I've had just so many issues. Like, um, I won't go into dirty details, <laughs> but um, basically, I got a infection in my colon area and. Um, it had been there for I don't know how long and um, I was starting to get pain down there and very like sore and struggling to move my bowel and um, basically just kept getting sick and I had no idea why I kept getting sick but I now put it down to the fact that my body was fighting infection. Um, so one day I was at work um, and working from home thankfully and basically in the middle of a phone call with a customer and all of a sudden I start getting the shakes like my jaw won't stop shaking and I'm like oh my god what is happening so I luckily didn't have a long call and got to end it there and like PM to my um, manager or not my leader or whatever and I was like I literally am shaking right now I have to stop went into the lounge room and from there just went into uncontrollable shakes now looking back it was a fever but like my body of the way that it reacted to that, I was really shocked. I didn't know that you reacted like that with a fever. I just thought you got like, you know how you get your jaw shakes and yes. like you just sort of progress not that far. I was literally shaking where my whole body was like in like, like yeah. I was clamping myself and it was just shakes and I couldn't I stop it. So then we went yeah, to the hospital that night, literally they did all these tests on me and ironically a week Two weeks before that happened, I went to my doctor about the whole situation downstairs and she was like, oh, I think you might have, you know, um, whatever it is, I won't say because it's really gross to Google. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically she thought I might have that and sent me to the hospital a couple of weeks ago and I sat there for hours and hours waiting to be seen and for them to just send me good. home. Yeah. They just sent me home and were like, oh, well, you know, you haven't had any like flu symptoms or anything like that, so. It's really annoying that you have to get that sick I know. get any medical attention. I know, and then, um, yeah, thankfully I did get that sick and I got um, to the hospital. They told me that night, they came back with all my test results and they're like, yep, so we've got to do surgery on you. And I was like, okay, I kind of expected that. Like, the doctor sort of warned me that if this is the case, I'll have to have surgery. Emergency surgery. And she literally was like, yeah. Uh, so I said, when, when am I going to be booked in? Thinking like a couple weeks time. She's like, 20 minutes. 20 minutes and I was like, oh. <laughs> that would have been I don't know if I can mentally prepare myself for 20 yeah. minutes, but it was literally no. Is that your first operation? Mm. 
Yeah. That's so scary. I just, have that. well, it was kind of a little bit of like an adrenaline rush because at the time yeah. I was like, oh my god, it's my first surgery. It's a little bit exciting. I'm going to get pushed in. You know how you like seeing the movie? Yeah. And then I get pushed in the trolley and I'm like, oh my god, this is kind of an exciting. <laughs> and then I started freaking out. So, like, I was being pushed. So they came up with all these, like, medical forms and they're telling me to sign all these things and they're saying okay but you could possibly die 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 oh my god oh my this god. is so scary and you're being told this in within 10 minutes then getting rushed to surgery and you've got to sign your life away i would have been like i ain't signed anything nope yeah like it was a <laughs> slim chance it was, it was a slim chance of death but at the same time that's oh. all you really hear isn't yeah. it like as soon as yeah. you get told you're going to go into surgery for emergency surgery and you like, could possibly die death yeah by yeah just death by it was really nerve-wracking, and the worst part of the whole surgery, um, other than the recovery, was um, going under. They didn't, this team that first did the first surgery um, for me, they were not very explanatory. I think yeah. because it was an emergency and they were like, let's get you in there and get do it. Under quick. They put the, the mask, the oxygen mask on me, and I felt suffocated, like I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like when I was breathing yeah. and I was like, I could breathe out easily, but I wasn't getting enough in. And the next minute I was asleep. So they didn't tell me they were putting me to sleep at that point. They just said, oh, this is a bit of an oxygen for you. And I was like, oh, okay. So that I was not aware of all that. That's scary. See, that's actually the part of operations that I find the scariest. Scariest? Yeah. That leaves me, yes, yeah, so I'm recovering. It was painful. I basically had a bit of plastic in my body um, externally and ex uh, internally and externally for about three months in the end. And they said it could be a year. And just imagine a milk bottle ring, a touch, a touch more flexible than that, not much, being in your body and trying to move your bowels and sit down and do everyday life with that in you. It was horrible. Horrible. You did so well though. I'm so proud of you. Like you I don't know it. how I did it, honestly. I think I would have complained a lot more. You barely complained. I just had to <laughs> live with it because I knew yeah. that I was gonna fix it. Well yeah. it didn't fix it, it prevented the infection from coming back basically. Yes. And then they said you'll have to have a second surgery, which I had about a month ago now. I was going under for the second one. That's what I was gonna say. So the second surgery, um, obviously it wasn't an emergency, so I was had I had weeks to prepare for it, which was even worse, I feel, because like the I was leader. I was thinking about the oxygen and I was like, Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm not gonna know, I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna panic and then I was at the hospital and they said, Oh, I think you had a mini anxiety attack and I said, Well, I don't normally suffer from like when I'm in a situation like I, I get anxiety but I don't get it in like claustrophobic ways. Yeah. But I mean I guess I kinda of put it down to like they're they're these experts or whatever. I don't know, I just sort of felt like there wasn't enough Trapped. oxygen. Um but anyway, I brought that up to the anesthetist uh, the second time and they're like, Is there anything that you're concerned about with this surgery? And I was like, Yes, I'm really not looking forward to going like under. I wasn't told last time when I was being put to sleep, I was just sort of putting oxygen and then I felt trapped. And they're like, okay, well we'll do it with even a mask. And I was like, what? Without That's, a mask? Yeah. They can do it without a mask. Yeah. I actually, legitimately, if you ask me right now how they put me to sleep, I don't know. Really? Nope. I don't know. Did you have an IV? Uh, yes, but I had an IV both times. Oh. So I wonder if the mask maybe was quicker? Maybe, but... And for emergency, I that's why it's more easier for them to do in an emergency. I don't know. I don't know, but I was. You had an operation, let us know. Yeah, let us know what your experience was. Yeah. But I was super happy, and the recovery after the second surgery was so much easier because I didn't have that thing in me anymore to get yes. used to. Oh, that would have been such a relief. Well, you literally have like skin cut open and a tag, and every time you roll or move, it slit your skin. Ah, oh, it's just horrible. Yeah. Oh, anyway, let's move on from the grossness. But I have recovered well. <laughs> I'll insert a clip right now of her. She oh, is adorable. Yeah. I want a picture too. Here's a picture. But yeah, you guys should come and follow our Snapchats and our Instagram because we do post photos yeah, personally, personally and on our accounts mm. and on our shared one. Yeah. yeah. Pictures now five months, I want to say. Yeah. She's a little, little woofer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She's really cute. Yeah. 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 2017 now, so last year, 20, yeah, 2016, um, we had our first wedding anniversary, which was really good. Um, didn't really do anything special because we were buying the house, so that was yeah. kind of like a big gift for us. Yes. Um, but the, really, the last thing I wanted to talk about was like the weight, really, the gain of weight. I freaking hate like I'm owning it because you know you have to embrace yourself. You can't hate yourself ever. Yes. Um, you have to love who you are. I mean, I went through a really 
dark phase yeah. um, a few months ago where I was like, I'm really hating myself, I really don't like it. And look, if I look in the mirror, no, I'm not happy with what I see. And I'm sure you probably say the same. Yeah. No. But at the same time, you can't hate yourself no. for, um, you know, yeah. for, for what we've been through, you know. You've been through so many illnesses this year. Yeah. And I've had these surgery, so I can't, I wasn't able to body, exercise for yeah. five months. Yeah. And considering what we've gone through health wise, our bodies have been good to us, really. Yeah, they can have. Yeah. So um, now, to, on to 2017 yeah. goals, I think that sort of leads us to. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, on yeah. to that subject. Um, People talk about in the new year, oh my god, I'm going to lose this amount of weight, I'm going to do this and this. Um, something that I've done this year, I've not thought that way. Um, I have Same decided, actually. yeah, so I've just sort of decided to embrace the way I am currently at, uh, at this weight. I'm the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life, but I've gotten to a point where I don't care. I eat mm. fairly healthy, I don't eat very, very badly. I mean, you can look at me and think I eat like six pizzas a day. Which I do like pizza, but I, I'm not. Really <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> um, so something I did, I just thought I'm gonna like treat myself better. Mm. So I actually deleted um, on Instagram. I followed a lot of really good-looking models, so people that I wanted to look like, like really skinny. I remember you did that. Yeah, really skinny, really like lots of you know those tanned, beautiful bodies on the beach sort of accounts that you see everywhere on Instagram. Mm. These girls are beautiful, yes, but they're not doing anything. Make me feel better about myself. They're not. Mm. They're, they have conflict. They're you really can't tall. Compare yourself. They have different bodies. Yeah, you can't compare yourself mm. to anyone. So I unfollowed them all. Yeah, I I, I agree with you on that. The only thing, like, I wouldn't say I had a New Year's resolution as yeah. such. Maybe it is kind of. Normally, I would try and think of like things that I want to do, like no fast food, and yeah. that fails. Like, who's going to do no fast yeah. food before yet? It's too much. Um, but what I've done is I've decided because um. I'm currently uh, with all my weight issues and for a few years now I've, I've dealt with um, like issues, uh, what's, what's the word that you've used for like women issues, um, I've dealt with like period being sporadic yeah. and all the rest of it so I've kind of had on my brain, yeah I've yeah. kind of had on my brain PCOS um, and like a few years ago I was tested and like it's sort of come up in discussion with my doctor and stuff so my resolution for the new year is health. Yes. Just creating a better health and lifestyle for myself. Yeah. So getting that tested, and have I got that? I'm yeah. always conscious of my diet, but I don't really want to use that word anymore. I want to no. say lifestyle because you're never perfect and you yes. can't tell yourself that what you, um, you can't say that 100% you're going to do exactly what you want to do no. always because you can't. You yeah. can't let yourself set yourself, set yourself you, up for failure. Yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. if you make too big of a goal, straight away it's just too much yeah it's too much like every new year I'd always be like I'm gonna lose 30 kilos this year and I'm gonna look amazing and some in some years I did lose a lot of weight but I've never maintained it because I've been like wait 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 I've never been health do you know what's really funny I don't know if you guys out there have the same thing but when I like say I've got an event coming up or something like that that usually, like back in the day, say for Christmas for example, I would get myself so excited for it and when I get there, as you get older you get that little bit more disappointed with how it goes because it doesn't live up to your childhood expectations. Mm -hmm. I sort of am going into my New Year's resolution the same, yeah. I'm going in with not much expectation <laughs> and then if I get yes. something really amazing out of it, I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's a positive experience yes. and it's going to continue and flow from yeah. there. Like just live your life and appreciate each thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good my, yeah, because yeah. I feel like if you set those expectations, trying to meet them is just going to be way too hard. Whereas yeah. if you set the expectations really low of yourself, um, with having an idea of where you want to be and what you yes. want to do, but not setting that expectation of by Christmas next year, I'm going to say, as you said, yes. lose 30 kilos. Like, you know, and it's, yeah, exactly it's unrealistic you and it's yeah. not something that you're going to drive towards because you know in your mind that it's unrealistic. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So I like that. And the 2017, I think, I felt like, I don't know, when 2017, when it rolled over, I felt like this was really? going to be a good year. I felt yeah. relieved. Yeah. Like, I know it's just, a lot of people are like, oh, it's just another day, blah, blah, blah. But to me, like, I felt like I think, a clean slate. Yeah. And I think humans need that. I think we need that. I think we need to feel like things are being renewed. You know, yeah. like the end of season. And like the end of yeah. the day. Yeah. Like, you go to bed, you wake up, tomorrow's a new Reflect day. Reflect on your day. Yeah. You're in bed. I had yeah. a crap day yesterday. I'm gonna yeah. not today. I'm gonna have a better day tomorrow. It's, it's yeah, what we do. It feels refreshing to me to have a new year. Yeah. 
here. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. excited. About you. I mean, other things that you know I'm looking forward to this year is possibly you know trying for kids, which is exciting. Have a little baby plonker. That'll be cute. Um, baby plonker. I, I love know. that. <laughs> Um, oh, and yeah. other things is our channel. Like we've really, I'm, I'm really yeah. enjoying doing this. It's, um, it's been so great yeah. with us because it's brought us closer. I it think. definitely has. And like we were already really close, yeah. but I think yeah, doing making that extra time to see each other, yeah, but bonding. also like having you guys, um, you know, relating to us as well is yeah. really special. I think and we want our channel to be that way. We want people to be related. We want to be relatable because mm. there's a lot of crap out there really on YouTube mm. that you look at and you feel bad about yourself because it's unrealistic. I mean look, no matter whether you're 60 kilos or 100 kilos, yeah. every woman has a flaw or yeah. they think they have a flaw. Yeah. Um, whether other people see it or not is a thing. Yeah. And we're happy to talk about our flaws and yeah. we're, you know, we're positive. And, even like, and people don't like the word flaws. I don't mind the word flaws. I, I personally like flaws. embrace my flaws. Yeah. I mean, like, as I just said, I'm fat. <laughs> like, you know, it's just one of those things. And for anyone who shames people on their flaws, you don't need to be in this channel. Yeah, you go. You go. We don't want you here. <laughs> because you know what? We embrace everyone for who they are. And I can't wait to speak to some of you guys and have you guys comment um, below. What's your guys' new year's resolution? Because yeah, you know, let us know. We yeah. want to have engagement with our channel. We want mm. people to comment. We want to talk to you. So. And if we can make it by to 100 some <laughs> And even if our channel could... <laughs> even if our channel was to... <laughs> We've like totally lost our flow. Um, and even if our channel could reach 100 subs by the. What can we say? I don't know. Yeah, even if our channel could reach 100 subscribers by even just the end of 2017, I think that would be really I think that's achievable. Yeah. We can give confidence to at least one of you guys out yeah. there who has body issues or who think you have body issues or anything like mental. Like, we're going to come out with a video about anxiety and depression soon yeah. as well. I mean, look. No human is perfect, and if yeah. you're not perfect as well, come and join our journey because we are sure to show our flaws on this journey oh, and <laughs> sure to have um, great times as well. So if you want to come along on our journey for 2017, be sure to subscribe yeah. to us and look yeah. forward to more content in the future, guys. Happy 2017. Happy 2017. We hope it's amazing. Bye.